All right, guys, we got another hell of JDM ride. But this time we don't have a turbo. We don't have all-wheel drive. We still have right-hand drive, though. But this one, this one's for the families, yo. Check this out. This is a 1998 Nissan El Grand. Now, you might be thinking, why does this guy bring a van this time, man? That's not JDM. That's not a Teggy. That's not a Nevo. Well, once you see the interior of this van, you're going to be like, whoa. Whoa, that's a crazy van. I don't think you guys ever seen a lot of these features that this one has. Come check it out. Watch the whole video though, so you see every single little feature this van has. All right, this one's for the JDM families out there, I guess. Nah, even if you don't have a family, you can still drive a van. Check out this grill, it's pretty cool. It's missing, uh, I don't know if it's missing on purpose or not. I got another one that says El Grand here in Emblem. I'll show you guys in a bit. It's got the license plate, the lights are from the back, so you know it's JDM. It's got your parking pole right here. I mean, I read how it works. I still don't understand it, but it has one. This one's a two-tone color from the outside. Well, I mean, it's just a van, right? But I think it looks pretty cool, though, for being a van. Check this out. You got more chrome in the back. And like I said, it's a Nissan and it's L Grand. What is L Grand? Grand? Whoa, Grand. L? Him? The great one? The great one. Nissan Caravan. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's also the X. So you know it's not the regular one. Then you got your little uh, old school technology, the backup mirror on this side. You got your spoiler up there. For a van, this looks pretty cool, man. I mean, let me tell you what. This is way cooler, way cooler. Check out this tent. Way cooler than the Nissan Quest, that's for sure. All right, all right, let's check out the inside. Let's start with the front. Even though the front is uh, it's just normal, it's mid, nothing crazy. You got your uh, electric windows right there. Folding mirrors, of course. You got the parking pull button right there. Let's start it off. Hey, Nismo sticker. Uh, oh, it's only got about 65,000 kilometers. What is that? About 45,000 miles, something like that. 50,000. Um, got your Japanese toll reader right there. It's going to make a sound in a second. There it is. Cup holders. Uh, CD, cassette. It's got your AC, your temperature. I think this opens, right? Yeah. You got your navigation screen also right there. It works. I mean, it's a little old. It doesn't work here, but it but it works. I'll show you these guys. I'll show you guys these buttons in a bit. These are crazy. What these three do right here. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much from the ins for the for the front. Nothing too crazy. You got a storage there, storage there, a little storage there also. Where it gets really crazy is in the back. I'll show you guys. All right, so now that we've seen the uh, front, now it's time to go to the back. I forgot to show you guys this though earlier. Check this out. So, like I said, it's got a sunroof in the front. Is it called a sunroof? Is it a moonroof? It doesn't go back because that one's in the back, but it does go up though. So it does open up. All right, now that we got that out of the way, you have uh, two capstan chairs and they're sitting on rails. So that means you could actually, it's kind of hard one hand, but you can move them back and forth. You see that? Back and forth. And then you got two uh, more seats in the back. These are really comfortable, actually. Check it out. You're not crammed up at all. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. So let's say you're sitting in the front, right? And your feet get tired. If you pull these down, it's got a footrest on both of them, actually. Uh, that's crazy. Got a cool little footrest right here in the back. All right, check this out. You got two remotes in the back, right? You got a TV that flips down. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. So you got a TV that flips down, so you control this with that. With this, you can control the temperature. You can control the lights, the volume, but it also does one more thing that's actually pretty cool. You see the sunroof right here? You could open it from the front, or if you click this button right here, you could also open it from the back with the remote. It's a Nissan. Crazy. Now check this out. Be patient with me because the instructions are in Japanese. So you put the seat down, right? Or you fold it forward. Then you pull, where is it? Right here? Right here, yeah. And check it out. Uh, now you got swivel seats. Oops, wrong one. With your armrest also right there. Same, th same thing for this one. You pull this. Is it this way? That way. Oh, it's this way. And now, you also got another uh, swivel seat. 
How comfortable is that for long road trips? If you want to talk to the boys in the back. Let's say you're sitting in the back and you need uh, more space in the back to put your stuff, right? Because there's no way you could put anything back there. These front, these seats are actually adjustable. Click, uh, you pull this here and then you see that? They're really adjustable. Look at the difference right here. So now you could put all your stuff in the back, but it's also vice versa. Let's say your knees are hitting uh, the person right in front of you. They also go all the way back. Uh, nice, right? Long road trips. Uh, look at that. What other what other van goes like this where you can just chill like this? If you think we're done with the C configurations and how you can move around, you're wrong. Check this out. Uh, let's see where to start. Okay, first of all, you could slide them forward so they'll go all the way back like this. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, this one goes the same. So now it turns flat into somewhat like a bed. So you could also uh, make these go flat. So you'll basically have a bed in the back. Let's say you need the uh, extra storage on the side, right? Which is the one you pulled though? I think it's in the bottom. If you pull these, you can actually go like this too. Fold these here, fold this here. Let me do one more. Ah, there you go. You just gotta take off the headrest or move them a little bit forward. And now you got all the space right here. You still got the caps and shares. You can take everything out. No problem. What do you guys think about that? That's a lot of space. You can move these seats, like I said, back, this, that, 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 that. That's cool, man. All right, coming back to this little storage unit right here. You can put your coins, storage, storage. And if you're not impressed by the seat configuration of the van in the back, that's probably the best feature right here. So you see the little rail? You put this right here. You push it back. Ugh. It's adjustable, so it can either lock right there or all the way to the back. You got your uh, back seats facing this way with the boys. You got these people facing this way. Check this out. You pull this up, and now you got a little table. You got you put your drinks right here. Poker, roll up. Uh, check this out, though. Man, so many cool features in this thing. So let's say you're in the back, right? You're chilling. You want some privacy. You hit the, you hit the button right here. It's got three of them. Ah, and it's got them all the way around. Close, close. The door's open, but this one also closes. You see that? You see that? That's crazy. That's crazy. Now I don't know how hard it might be able to tell from the angle, but check this out. It's also got a the, the what do you call it? Soft close, soft touch. So if you close it right there and it's not fully closed, it'll close automatically. You hear that? Let's do it again. On a Nissan, man. All right, let's see what it's hiding under the hood. I believe it's a 3.3 V6 producing about, I think it was 170 horsepower. Yeah, something like that. Uh, actually, this engine is the same engine as the uh, Nissan. I think it's the Xterra. So finding... Uh, you know, regular uh, gaskets, uh, spark plugs, stuff like that is gonna be uh, same as the Nextera, so that's pretty cool. Easy to find parts and cheap. There's a lot of vans to choose from, obviously. Um, but I mean, if I was gonna pick a van, I'd probably pick something like this. I like how the grill looks, I like the back, uh, the curtains. It's only got, like, this one's only got 65,000 kilometers. What is it in miles? Uh, 40,000 miles, something like that. So, I mean, for the price, you, you really can't beat it. Uh, like I said, this one sold for, I'm almost embarrassed to say, I put it in the auction, no reserve, it sold for 6500 It was the first one too. I thought I was gonna do a lot more since a lot of people are putting them for sale on the East Coast for like 10, 12. I was hoping to get eight at least, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, yeah, like I said, I mean, what, what do you have? We have uh, leather, it's comfortable the curtains, sunroofs, what else would you want in the van? So the driving experience is pretty much what you expect from a van, right? Nothing too exciting about it. It's not the fastest or anything like that. Uh, this one's only two wheel drive. They do make them four wheel drive. I do have another one. Uh, but where it really shines though, realistically is in the back, all these seat uh, configurations. Uh, you know, like the captain's chairs that swivel around or the row all the way in the back that you could uh, move forward and back, lay down. 
Uh, you can turn it into a bed also. The back seats, you can, you can turn it into a bed. That's leather though. Nah, probably not the most comfortable to sleep in, but hey, it'll clean up easy though. As a matter of fact, you forgot to record when you were taking a 20 minute nap at AutoZone. Yeet. Why do they stop making vans like this? Why? I don't know why. I guess you could get a, what is it, a, a conversion van or something like that. Everything's aftermarket though. This is pretty stock. Everything's stock, like the buttons and everything else. Uh, which was your favorite feature though of this van that I just showed you guys? Uh, also, don't forget to like, subscribe. It really helps us out. Every time I see the likes and the subscribes go up, it motivates me to do more videos, really. Uh, follow us at uh, It's Hella JDM and TikTok, uh, YouTube, and also on Instagram.